Hey, my name is Immerse, and in this video, I want to talk about the new fucking Dream scandal. And I know Dream and all these other Minecraft YouTubers always getting canceled or doing some dumb shit on Twitter. But this one's a little bit serious. The Twitter user OxyClean has came out on her own public Twitter and posted screenshots and a thread of her and Dream talking. Unfortunately, you cannot see her profile anymore because she is private, but luckily someone took the screenshots and the thread and put in the Wayback Machine so we can all see all the accusations of her and Dream. So let's get into it. As you can see here on screen, here's a screenshot of her and Dream talking in Twitter DMs and Dream asking what her age is. She says that she's 18 soon and should I drop out again? And Dream just replying with the lamau, which is fine, all that. But with info that we know that she's 17 and these screenshots were from 2021, meaning Dream was 20 at the time. But let's continue forward with this other Twitter DM. As you can see here on screen again, there's a screenshot of her and Dream talking about his face reveal leaks and saying how Dream doesn't like DMing people as they'll leak his DM saying, ooh, I talked to Dream. And people would assume shit like how this person is assuming that Dream is a predator. But even with friends, he has to be careful on what to say and that he likes Snapchat like if it was his best friend. As if you know, as you take a screenshot in Snapchat, it tells the other person. Let's move on to the screenshots of them talking on Snap. Sadly, there's not much as a person didn't post much. But here's two screenshots of them on Snap of Dream saying, huh, and proof that she added him on snap so not giving much evidence to work with but it goes forward to iMessages where it really goes down here on the iMessages she's quote unquote talking to dream and him saying what's up sexy with them cringy ass emojis and her saying nothing much what about you if this is really dream and him being in his 20 and her being 17 this is just fucking creepy but here's more iMessages of them quote unquote flirting here on the second iMessage screenshot is a massively cringe flirting of him just saying, you should come meet me through quarantine and her making jokes saying, you probably got the Rona saying, I'll see you after. And him just saying some cringe ass shit such as you can get it from me, BB, slurp it up, yum. And her saying, oh, bet with the flirting monkey emoji. But then Dream says, quarantine is really bringing out the horny out of everyone. What the fuck? And her just saying, nah, that's you. Like, what the fuck did I just read? Like, why is Dream talking to a 17-year-old about being horny? Like, what? But lastly, here's a last iMessage screenshot. On this iMessage screenshot, it's just them cringe flirting again. Her saying, when will you invite me? And him saying, you're welcome whenever you can sleep in the kitchen or the bedroom. Blah, 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 blah. Just more cringe flirting. You can pause the video if you want to read their messages. I don't want to do any voiceovers of their messages as it makes me cringe. And I'm pretty sure it's going to make you cringe as well. But I have one more screenshot that she provided in the thread and let's get into that as you can see here's a screenshot of dream's tiktok and her showing evidence that she really knew him on imessage as it says dream from your contacts and it is the real dream tiktok as if you go to his actual tiktok it has the same amount of views and it's the same videos there currently oxyclean provided all that evidence in her thread that i will leave in the description below and at this point i can't really tell if that is dream or she's really just faking it for clown and of course, I don't want to assume if she's an actual victim of Dream. And I'm so sorry if she is and she had to go through all that. But a lot of people on the thread were saying it, it was fake, showing screenshots and evidence saying that she's faking it for clout. And if she is really faking it for clout just for shit and giggles, it just sucks knowing that there's victims out there telling the real story and people calling them attention seekers, even though they just want to come out with their stories. And if she's just doing it just for clout and just for followers, it sucks knowing that she's damaging her own reputation and damaging other people's reputation just for a few Twitter followers. But I think that's going to conclude the video for today. If you want to give this video a like, give it a like. If you want to sub, sub. But let me know what your thoughts about this whole dream situation in the comments below. My thoughts are that I feel like there isn't as much evidence to call Dream a groomer and all that. And a lot of people agree with me as well. But anyways, it's been Immersed. See you in the next video.